Hello and welcome to Songs for the Struggling Artist, the blog cast. This is episode 184. And today's episode is not about Gen X. Are you relieved, people who are not Gen Xers and maybe Gen Xers as well? You might be. I don't know. Um, there will be another one, another Gen X post coming, but it hasn't even been put on the blog yet. And I'm like a month behind uh, turning the blog into the podcast. So for those of you who are weary of Generation X, you got a while. Don't worry. <laughs> We're taking a break. We're taking a break. Um, today's episode is um, a sort of a creative process type episode. Um, so yeah, why don't I just get into it? Um, oh, by the way, my name is Emily Rainbow Davis, and thank you for listening. Um, today's episode is called All the Times I Wrote My Last Thing. As I thumbed through the first draft of the zine that I make every year for my Patreon patrons, I thought, I actually wrote some good stuff this year. In the same breath, I thought, that's probably all I have. I've written all the best things. The well has run dry. I've just been coasting the last month, and I don't see how I could possibly get my mojo back. It was nice while it lasted, but... All I have left to write are sad documentary posts about the rejections I receive. I'd worry that I was in the middle of writer's block if I hadn't felt this same way many times before. I have felt this way, and then a few months later wrote something I was very proud of. It is normal, in fact, when you're not feeling particularly inspired to be convinced that that feeling is permanent and you will never be inspired again. I felt it when I finished my novel. I feel it whenever I finish a play. I feel it about a couple of times a year with the blogs. Every time I write a song, I'm sure it's the last one. Last year, I wrote a lullaby, brushed off my hands, and said that was a good one to end on. But just a few weeks ago, I wrote a song for the year's final podcast. I don't know why this is a pattern. But I don't think I'm alone in this. The fear of dry wells may have something to do with respecting the capriciousness of the muses. They're not always going to show up, and they're not always going to give you your best. Sometimes I write good things. Sometimes I write mediocre things. On some bad days, I write bad things. I show up at the page every day and write something whether I feel inspired or not. Sometimes something that I think is pretty routine catches fire in someone else's imagination and goes. Sometimes I write something that I think is marvelous and it disappears like a puff of smoke. I know it is not up to me to decide what is good or bad or even what comes out of me. I just write and release. I make the paper airplanes and float them out the window. Sometimes they fly because I've expertly crafted them, but most times they fly because a powerful breeze appeared at just the right moment. I won't stop making my planes just because I don't feel inspired. I often feel that the plane in my hands will be my last, but it never is. I've made enough final planes to know that I probably won't make my final final one until I make my final one, if you know what I mean. Anyway, if you're sure your well has run dry and you've made your final piece of art, just know that I understand, I sympathize, and I don't believe it for a second. It's not over till it's over. I realized as I was setting up this recording that I should have used this image of, uh, of the actual zine that I made for the Patreons this year. The Patreons? The patrons. The patron. The Patreon patrons. Um, but actually, the photo I found is so adorable. I, I, I'm, I don't regret this choice at all. So it should be in your podcast feed, um, but it's an adorable little Russian boy with a paper airplane and like um, like, a, a, like a, what do you call that? Like a little pilot's hat. It's very sweet. So check out your podcast feed photo. <laughs> if you and if you can't find it there, you can go to artiststruggle.wordpress.com uh, and you will see it there on this post. And if you want a zine, 
I can send it to you if you become a Patreon patron. This will be the only, this is like the secret podcast special offer that no one else will know about. So shh, mum's the word. Actually, feel free to tell anyone you like. But uh, if you uh, wanted to join Patreon now, I will send you 2019's zine um, and happily deliver both that to you and 2020's when it's done. Um, but that'll be a long time from now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, speaking of Patreon, the way to support me there is patreon.com slash Emily R. Davis. Um, other ways to help the podcast are to donate to PayPal or Ko-fi. Links are in the show notes. But also just, you know, tell someone or give us some stars. Us. That's me and my microphone, I guess. <laughs> give give me and my microphone some stars in whatever podcast app you're in. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for just listening and for, for being along for the ride uh, and for accepting my paper airplanes that I am throwing in your general direction with some regularity. <laughs> uh, so today's song is um, uh, Lenny Kravitz. The Lenny Kravitz song. Um, the last line of the blog is, it's not over till it's over, which I thought was the name of the Lenny Kravitz song because I hadn't heard it in a while. And I searched for it and I was like, wait, where is it? Is Lenny Kravitz not on Spotify? And then I realized it's, it's it, his, his song is, it ain't over till it's over. So um, I wasn't actually quoting the Lenny Kravitz song that I thought I was quoting at the end of the blog. In fact, I was quoting a Starship song, I think, which I haven't listened to. Actually, I should check it out. But meanwhile, uh, you're going to get some Lenny Kravitz here in a second. Um, I learned this song on ukulele, which I find hilarious because basically the reason you listen to a Lenny Kravitz song is is for the guitar. Um, so to do it on ukulele just feels um, like a little bit rude, maybe, but like in a good way. <laughs> Uh, and also some whistling. I, I tried some whistling for this first time um, in a song. And it nearly blew out my mic a couple times. <laughs> Had to really perfect my, like, turn your head so far away from the mic technique to, to, to do the whistling. Because microphone is not excited about a whistle. Let me just say that right now. I think I solved it. Um, but apologies if you... If you find otherwise in in your speaker situation, I think it's fine. But, you know, um, everyone's speakers and earphones are different. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, Anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so. Um, Thank you for listening. And uh, I, I give to you now Lenny Kravitz's It Ain't Over Till It's Over. Huh? 
how many times did we give up but we always work things out and all my doubts and fears kept me wondering yeah if I'd always always be in love so many tears I've cried so much pain inside but baby it ain't over till it's over so many years we've tried and kept our love alive but baby it ain't over till it's over So many years I've cried, so much pain inside, but baby it ain't over till it's over. So many years we tried and kept our love alive, but baby it ain't over till it's over. So many tears I've cried, so much pain inside. But baby, it ain't over till it's over So many years we've tried And kept our love alive But baby, it ain't over till it's over